This video is going to show how to use the new Max Problems feature. So if you're adding to an assignment and you press more, you're going to see a drop down box for Max Problems. Now the default is still that there is no limit. So if you require three problems, a student might get one right, get one wrong, get one right, get one wrong, and their score may go up by one, down by one, up by one, down by one, depending on the penalty, but they will ultimately be able to solve as many problems as they need in order for them to reach a score of three. But if you want to limit that in some way, for example, if you wanted to sort of simulate kind of a test, then you may set max problems equal to, equal to the number required, in which case they're going to get three problems no matter what, and their grade on that skill will be equal to the percentage of those three problems that they get right. Now you can also set things like equal to two times or three times or four times or five times the number of required problems, or you could set them to specific number of problems if you want to, but I think setting it as a proportion makes the most sense. So if you want to do three times the required, you're basically saying, okay, giving you some leeway in order to reach your three, but we're not gonna give you all day. All right, so what would the student see? At this point, the student's going to see normal here, but when they click into the problem, they're gonna have a new message down here that they are on problem one out of a max of three. This was the one in which we said they're only gonna get three problems no matter what. So let's say we got one right, so that would be four, we get a point. Now I didn't mention this before, but if you make the number required equal to the max problems, I'm automatically gonna set the penalty to none because we don't want them their score to go down. Let's say they get this one wrong. So attempt number one, they still get two attempts on the problem, which you can affect if you'd like to. Now here, their score is still one. I didn't want a penalty because essentially I'm guessing that you wanted it to be a proportion. So in this case, let's say we get this one right. So I got two out of three correct, and I saw three problems, so I'm done. If I try to press next problem, we're not gonna get a new problem. They're not gonna be able to do it. If they go back, they're gonna see that this problem is done, and if they click it, there's nothing else they can do. Now on this one, we said to set the number that they're allowed to do as triple. So they're on problem one out of max nine. Now if they got three in a row, they'd be done. But if they get one right, get one wrong, notice the penalty here is applying. So you can set the penalty whatever you want, but if you need them to do it and you want to give them a little leeway, you can set it to a specific number or two times as many as required or three times as many as required. Now the default for these I did not change, so the, nowhere does it mention to the student that they have a max number of problems. So they're gonna be able to keep going. They might solve 50 problems, one right, one wrong, one right, one wrong with the penalty before they end up getting three as their score. So back on the teacher screen, if we look up the student, then we can see on this example exactly the data that he had. I do wanna point out that if a student runs out of tries and implores you that they want more, then you can go to their name and search their name there and you can press this little gear and give them additional for the max problems. So now let's say they have an additional two max problems. So if they refresh their page and they click that again, they're gonna have an extra two problems if they can convince you that they deserve another try. But ultimately speaking, a student may not be able to earn a 100% if they make mistakes in the meantime, if they exhaust their max problems. Okay, so what I'm going to share with you is this is my Delta Math. I have paid the $50, so I'm getting Delta Math Plus. That way I can see the Delta uh, Math Plus features. So if I click on this, it'll give me all kinds of features that I can use. If you are not seeing this, then I think the only way that you can see it is to pay the $50 and get the Plus. So I hope that helps you figure out what you need.